65 miles southeast of Omaha. Reporter Maya Sines went there tonight and has this harrowing story of a family that went underground as a tornado barreled above them. She's live for us tonight. Maya. Yeah, Craig, Jen D. Oceans was sitting in the back porch with her two grandsons. They were just ironically talking about storms in Iowa when the tornado struck their home, leaving extensive damage. So, and Sam goes, Grandma, look up there. And then there was a tornado. A home severely damaged by a tornado in Farragut, Iowa. But the upstairs, half the roof's off upstairs and it's wet. The family barely able to escape the storm. It was like this, the wind was... You, it was hard to keep the boys down. That's what was so scary. D. Ocean and her two grandkids, ages 12 and 7, were sitting on the back porch, unaware of any storm threats, as her power had gone out about an hour before the storm hit. But thanks to the tornado siren, they started to seek shelter. I said, boys, we need to go to the cave. I'll get the transistor radio. And when we hit the bottom of the steps, the wind was, and the boys went rolling across the grass. Dee's husband, Lynn, was at work when he received the news that his house had been hit by the tornado. He rushed, expecting to find his house completely ruined. I was driving about 85, 90, write me a ticket, highway patrol, whatever, and there was all kinds of cars pulled off, and my little car, I've got a little car, and it was waving all over the road. The oceans say their home now unlivable. It's better than I expected, but it's still a mess. You know, I didn't expect to see the house standing, but, you know, there's still a lot of damage. But after the storm came the help from neighbors, friends, relatives, all that had heard that they needed a helping hand. We got generators and I got electrician, the friend's electrician, and we're doing work and getting some temporary power for the freezers and refrigerators. And, and uh, it'll be, it won't be best, but it'll be another day and we'll start in. Yep, now I just checked in with the family. They're actually all behind me. Now, Dee tells me they've kind of calmed down now after this frightening experience that they said. I ran into one of the grandkids who says, came up running to me and said, I survived a tornado today, so still a little overwhelming for them. Now, they aren't able to live in their home tonight, so they're going to be sleeping in a camper that one of their nephews brought over for tomorrow. Obviously, still finishing cleaning up, and they'll be meeting with their insurance adjuster to assess the damage. Reporting live, Maya Sainz, 3 News Now. Safe.